Imagine you are 13 years old, you just got Discord, and you're looking to making some new friends. You later get a friend request from this man with the username Jonathan Galindo. His profile picture is quite strange and creepy though, and you're pretty confused. It's like of Creepypasta got his hands on Mickey Mouse and it created something really creepy. And it was way more realistic. He asked you to do this challenge. The Blue Whale Challenge. Stay tuned in to see what happens. You're probably thinking, oh, this is another TikTok trend that I can get free likes on. But little did the teenager know that if they answer the question wrongly, it could haunt them forever. You say, yeah, sure, what is the challenge? Jonathan Galindo says, the blue well challenge. Now what is the blue well challenge and what happens if you reject the challenge? Keep in mind that all his social medias were banned, Twitter, Facebook, etc. But before we get into that, the blue well challenge is where he tells you on certain days to draw, do, do not attempt this. If this video gets seen, then it gets seen now, but do not attempt this at all. Do not think uh, doing this at all, okay? All right, glad, good. Get your wrist, and every single day you would add a dot, a line, and it would form into a blue whale on your wrist. So you're literally cutting your wrist, and every single day you would add a line. I believe it was around 50 days. He just told you what I just told you. It was 50 days, blah, blah, blah. Then you're like, what? N no. Like, you say no. And, well, he threatens you in the most scariest way possible. He threatens to get your IP address, find out where you live, and do it himself. If you block it or reject the friend request in the first place, he is known to grab your IP address and freaking just break into your house and do stuff. But the IP address only shows your town, so I think you're good. But it's pretty scary stuff, and I think he just does it to scare you a bit. But today, we're going to find out if it's fake. Jonathan Galindo got his Twitter account suspended, his Facebook account suspended, but he has Discord, which is actually very haunting. I got a message from Jonathan Galindo. I'm pretty sure it was a fake Jonathan Galindo because what he's supposed to send you is not what he sent me at all. He started it with, how are you? Um, so yeah, we are gonna actually find his Discord and like leak it. I'm gonna leak it and we are gonna, we're gonna message him. His first appearance was on TikTok. He was wearing a goofy looking ass costume, creepy pasta hybrid crap. And he had a friend, right? I I believe I believe they were I believe the friend was a furry. I don't know for sure. It's really weird, but not that they're furries, it's just as weird what he's been doing anyway. Yeah, and then they sit down on a couch with really bad camera quality. Then Jonathan just starts hitting the man sitting next to him. It's very, I'll link the video to it if you guys want to check it out, but it's very scary, and if you get scared easily, do not check it out, especially for my younger demographic. If you get this message, turn on a VPN right away. The, how he'll get your, v, how he get your IP address? He'll go on this website called Wireshare, type in your Discord username and numbers, and, you'll, and he'll go from there, he'll get your IP. Turn on a VPN if you see a friend request, go, go right away, find a free VPN, turn it on, okay? On Discord. Twitter, okay, find a way to delete the message before seeing it. So maybe, um, so you, what we want to do, tap on it, remove the Wi-Fi off of your phone, exit out, delete the message, and then turn on the Wi-Fi, and he will never see that you read it. So you'll be okay. But any other social medias, I don't know. So you all got to be careful. There's some crazy shit going on, and, well, this is 2020, and it's probably one of the worst years. Guys, take it easy. Stay safe. Wait. We need to message him. Alright, it's done. Next video will probably be a vlog.